West Virginia Attorney General Patrick Morrissey is pushing back against a federal court injunction on the state's transgender athlete ban. Hannah Klein breaks down the legal back and forth played out over the, the bill and why the Attorney General is making this move now. Hannah? Well, Dave Dina Morrissey has announced today that he has asked the Supreme Court to allow West Virginia to enforce the ban on transgender athletes competing in West Virginia's women's sports. Our goal is to protect the safety of, of women and to make sure that women are going to be able to compete under fair circumstances. Back in April 2021, the Save Women Sports Act was signed into law, prohibiting all biological males, including those who identify as transgender girls, from participating on girls' sports teams. But on Thursday, the Attorney General made the announcement during news conference with representatives from the Alliance Defending Freedom Advocacy Group. His office is filing an application with the Supreme Court to lift an injunction put in place by the Fourth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals at the end of last month. I think there was a sense in West Virginia with the legislature that they wanted basic fairness. The people wanted basic fairness in participation of sports. In May of 2021, the ACLU filed a lawsuit on behalf of a 12-year-old middle school student saying the Save Women Sports Act violated the 14th Amendment Equal Protection Clause in Title IX, the lawsuit resulting in an injunction placed blocking the law. In January of this year, U.S. District Court Judge Joseph Goodwin ruled the state's ban did not violate any constitutional right or violate Title IX protections, putting the law back into place. And that's what West Virginia's Save Women Sports Act does. It ensures that female athletes aren't reduced to spectators in their own sports, but have the opportunity to showcase their talents and to win. The ACLU appealed the decision. The 4th U.S. Circuit Court then ruled to reinstate a preliminary injunction. In response to the Attorney General's latest filing, representatives from the ACLU saying, quote, the AG and his allies have cherry-picked unique incidents and ignored the overwhelming evidence that allows transgender youth to participate in team sports has benefits for all. If the issue is addressed by the Supreme Court will remain to be seen, they ruled in 2020 in favor of transgender rights regarding employment discrimination, but declined to take up a case in 2021 regarding transgender students using school bathrooms related to their gender identity. This should be the time to applaud the sacrifices and accomplishments of female athletes and to praise their efforts to support every girl's right to compete on a fair and level playing field. And we will follow this motion as it makes its way to the Supreme Court, and we will update you with what's next. But for now, live at the Capitol, Hannah Klein, Eyewitness News.